The Société Nationale des Chemins de Verre Français (SNCF), French National Railway Company, is France's national state-owned railway company. Founded in 1938, it operates the country's national rail traffic along with Monaco, including the TGV, France's high-speed rail network. Its functions include operation of railway services for passengers and freight, and maintenance and signalling of rail infrastructure. The railway network consists of about 32,000 kilometers (20,000 miles) of route, of which 1,800 kilometers (1,100 miles) are high-speed lines and 14,500 kilometers (9,000 miles) electrified. About 14,000 trains are operated daily. In 2010 the SNCF was ranked 22nd in France and 214th globally on the Fortune Global 500 list. It is the main business of the SNCF Group, which in 2017 had €33.5 billion Euros of sales in 120 countries. The SNCF Group employs more than 260,000 people. Since July 2013, the SNCF Group headquarters are located in a Parisian suburb at 2 Place Oatoils in Saint Denis. The president of the SNCF Group is Guillaume Pepe. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Business Scope. Topic: High-speed rail. SNCF operates almost all of France's railway system, including the TGV (Train à Grande Vitesse), meaning high-speed train. In the 1970s, the SNCF began the TGV high-speed train program with the intention of creating the world's fastest railway network. It came to fruition in 1981, when the first TGV service, from Paris to Lyon, was inaugurated. Today, the SNCF operates 1,850 kilometers (1,150 miles) of designated high-speed track that accommodate more than 800 high-speed services per day. SNCF's TGV trains carry more than 100 million passengers a year. TGV lines and TGV technology are now spread across several European countries in addition to South Korea. The SNCF's TGV has set many world speed records, the most recent on 3 April 2007, when a new version of the TGV dubbed the V150 with larger wheels than the usual TGV, was able to cover more ground with each rotation and had a stronger 25,000 horsepower 18,600 kilowatts engine, and broke the world speed record for conventional railway trains reaching 574.8 km per hour 357.2 miles per hour. The SNCF has a remarkable safety record. After nearly 30 years in operation, SNCF's TGV system has only experienced one fatal accident, during trials rather than regular operations. Topic: United Kingdom. In 2011, SNCF, in partnership with Keolis, unsuccessfully bid for the Intercity West Coast franchise. In April 2017, SNCF took a 30% shareholding in a joint venture with Stagecoach Group and Virgin Group to bid for the West Coast partnership that will operate services on the West Coast Main Line from May 2019 and the High Speed 2 Line from 2026. Topic: <laughs> SNCF operations. 
Since the 1990s, SNCF has been selling railway carriages to regional governments, with the creation of the Train Express Regional brand. SNCF also maintains a broad scope of international business that includes work on freight lines, intercity lines and commuter lines. SNCF experts provide logistics, design, construction, operations and maintenance services. SNCF operates the international ticketing agency We.SNCF, formerly Voyagers-SNCF.com and Rail Europe. SNCF has employees in 120 countries offering extensive overseas and cross-border consulting. Those projects include Israel, assistance and training. SNCF International provides assistance to Israel Railways in every area of rail operations including projects to upgrade the network's general safety regulations. Other assistance and training programs involve infrastructure and the traction division. Taiwan – Operations Training SNCF supervised the prime contractor responsible for construction of the Taiwan Railways Administration's main high-speed rail line. It also trained rail traffic controllers, drivers, and crew members. On behalf of the government of Taiwan, SNCF managed the high-speed railway command control center. United Kingdom – Maintenance in 2007-2008, SNCF International Consultants audited the maintenance practices applied to the track, signalling and overhead electric power line on British high-speed rail lines connecting London to the Channel Tunnel. In addition, it conducted an audit of the maintainer's performance from the service quality and cost control standpoint, made recommendations for improvements, and proposed a three-year business plan. South Korea – HSR Electrification Design SNCF advised Korean railroads on the electrification of tracks between Daegu and Busan and on linking existing conventional tracks to the new high-speed line. SNCF also assisted in selecting and inspecting high-speed rolling stock and trained 400 senior manager, engineers, and executives in a broad range of skills, including signaling, catenaries, track, rolling stock maintenance, HSR operation, safety management, marketing, and passenger information systems. Until the end of 2009, SNCF assisted Korea in maintaining its high speed. Spain – Signaling System SNCF partnered with ADIF Spanish Railway Infrastructure Provider in the study, supply, installation, and maintenance of the standard EU railway signaling system along the Madrid-Yeda high-speed line. On behalf of the Spanish government, SNCF designed and led maintenance operations on this line over a two-year period. France, lead infrastructure and rolling stock maintainer, the SNCF maintains 32,000 kilometers (20,000 miles) of track, 26,500 main sets of points and crossings, 2,300 signal boxes, 80,000 track circuits, over 1 million relays, etc. It also maintains 3,900 locomotives and 500 high-speed trains. Each of SNCF's TGV trains travels more than 39,000 kilometers miles a month, enough to circle the globe. Each year SNCF's Human Resources Department provides over 1.2 million hours of training to its over 25,000 employees. Topic: History. SNCF was formed in 1938 with the nationalisation of France's main railway companies, Chemin de Fer, literally "path of iron," means railway. These were the Chemin de Fer de l'Est, Eastern Railways. 
Schumers de Verre de la Tat ATAT, state railways, merged in 1908 with the Schumers de Verre de l'Ouest. Schumers de Verre du Nord, Nord Northern Railways Schumers de Verre de Paris à Lyon et à la Méditerranée PLM, Paris, Lyon and Mediterranean Railways Schumers de Verre de Paris à Orléans et du Midi Paris, Orléans, and Southern Railways, PO Midi, formed in 1934 from the merger of the Schumer de Verre de Paris à Orléans and the Schumers de Verre du Midi Administration des Schumers de Verre d'Alsace et de Lorraine Al, Alsace-Lorraine Railways Syndicates du Schumer de Verre de Grande Kenture et de Petite Kenture Great and Little Belt Railways The French state originally took 51% ownership of SNCF and invested large amounts of public subsidies into the system. Today, SNCF is wholly owned by the French state. Topic: World War II. Following the 1940 armistice and until August 1944, SNCF was requisitioned for the transport of German armed forces and armaments. The invading German troops were responsible for the destruction of nearly 350 French railway bridges and tunnels. According to differing estimates, SNCF surrendered between 125,000 to 213,000 wagons and 1,000 to 2,000 locomotives. France's railway infrastructure and rolling stocks were a target for the French resistance aimed at disrupting and fighting the German occupying forces. This allowed SNCF employees to perform many acts of resistance, including the formation of the Resistance Ver movement in 1943. Nearly 1,700 SNCF railway workers were killed or deported for resisting Nazi orders. 150 Resistance Ver agents were shot for their acts of resistance, 500 of them were deported. Half of those deported died in concentration camps. German occupying forces in France also requisitioned SNCF to transport nearly 77,000 Jews and other Holocaust victims to Nazi extermination camps. These deportations have been the subject of historical controversy and lawsuits such as the Lipitz case in France as well as in the United States where subsidiary Keolis is a transportation contractor to the present day in 1992 SNCF commissioned French academics to write a history of SNCF activities during World War II the resultant report was published in 1996 more recently some sources Forces have claimed that SNCF billed Nazi-occupied France for third-class tickets for Holocaust victims transported to extermination camps, although passengers were transported in cattle cars. Other sources have reported that after the liberation of France SNCF continued to seek payment for transporting Holocaust victims to Germany. However, historian Michael Maris has written that claims that SNCF billed for third-class tickets and continued to seek payment after the war ended were made as part of a legal case brought against SNCF, and did not match with historians' understanding of what happened. Maris argues that SNCF had no margin of maneuver during the German occupation and that the actions of SNCF employees were not ideologically motivated. According to Serge Klaasfeld, president of the organization Sons and Daughters of Jewish Deportees from France, SNCF was forced by German and Vichy authorities to cooperate in providing transport for French Jews to the border and did not make any profit from this transport. In December 2014, SNCF agreed to pay up to $60 million worth of compensation to Holocaust survivors in the United States. 
It corresponds to approximately $100,000 per survivor. On the 1st of January 2015, Réseau Ferré de France (RFF) merged with SNCF Infra and the Direction de la Circulation Ferroviaire (DCF) and became SNCF Réseau. The operational assets of SNCF became SNCF Mobilités, and both groups were placed under the control of SNCF. Topic. Design The industrial designer Paul Arzens styled many of SNCF's locomotives from the 1940s until the 1970s. A particularly distinctive type is the «broken nose» style of electric and diesel locomotives. Current day SNCF is recognized as a leader in eco-mobility with a commitment to become the world's first operator to offer carbon-neutral travel at no extra cost to travelers. SNCF has cut emissions on its cross-channel Paris to London route by 31% in two years by using more electricity from non-fossil fuel sources. SNCF's 39 manufacturing facilities are in the process of going green and nine sites are already ISO 14000 certified. SNCF developed an interactive website to help travelers calculate the environmental impact of their travel choices. In May 2014, the company had discovered that 2,000 new trains they ordered at a cost of €15 billion Euros are too wide for many of France's regional platforms. Construction work has already started to reconfigure them. In 2015, the company also discovered that the new trains were too tall to use the Italian tunnels along the Riviera coastline route, so the trains have to end at the French Italian border and transfer passengers to a smaller train. Topic: <inaudible> Codeshare with airlines. SNCF codeshares with Air Austral, Air France, Air Tahiti Nui, American Airlines, Cathay Pacific, Middle East Airlines, Etihad Airways, Qatar Airways, and Sri Lankan Airlines. In exchange, SNCF allows passengers on these flights to book railway services between Charles de Gaulle Airport in Wassy near Paris and Aix-en-Provence, Angers, Avignon, Bordeaux, Le Mans, Lille, Lyon Part d'Ieu, Marseille, Montpellier, Nantes, Nîmes, Poitiers, Rennes, Strasbourg, Tours, and Valence with their airline. The IATA designator used by airlines in connection with these journeys is 2C. Continental Airlines discontinued its codeshare with SNCF on the 15th of August 2010. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Company structure and subsidiaries. Topic Headquarters Since July 2013, the SNCF headquarters are located in the Parisian suburb of Saint Denis at 2, Place 08 Oils, 93,200 Saint Denis. The move, motivated by cutting operating costs by €10 million Euros per year, is historically significant. For the first time in the history of SNCF, their headquarters is no longer located within the city limits of Paris. From 1999 to 2013, SNCF's headquarters were located in the Montparnasse neighborhood of the 14th arrondissement of Paris, located near the Gare Montparnasse. Prior to 1999, the SNCF's historic headquarters was located at 88 rue Saint-Lazare in the 9th arrondissement. 
In 1996 the chairman of SNCF, Louis Galois, announced that SNCF would move its headquarters to a new location during the middle of 1997. Topic. Divisions Since 1 January 2015 SNCF consists of three divisions SNCF Rezo is the infrastructure division of SNCF, and carries out track and other infrastructure maintenance, design and construction. Subsidiaries in the group include Sistra, Inexia and SNCF International. SNCF Mobilites is the transport division of SNCF, tasked with the operation of passenger and goods trains. It comprises three branches of activity SNCF Voyages is responsible for passenger transport. Constituent parts include TGV, TER, Transilien and Intercites formerly Corail Intercites, Lunair and TOs. Keolis is responsible for urban transport tramways, bus networks. SNCF Logistics is the rail and general freight logistics section of SNCF, including Fret SNCF, VFLI and other European rail freight companies since 2010 collected under the brand CapTrain, as well as rail freight stock management companies including France Wagons and Ermewa. SNCF Immobilia is responsible for the station's maintenance. Topic. Shareholdings SNCF has full or partial shares in a large number of companies, the majority of which are rail or transport related. These include Geodis 100%, ERMEWA 100%, France Wagons 100%, SGW, Société de Gérance de Wagons 67.5% CTC, Compagnie des Transports Céréliers 69.36% SEGI 98.96% Navaland Cargo 94.37% Previously CNC Transports Compagnie Nouvelle de Conteneurs, General Freight Transport C. Modalor Express 51% Novartrans 38.25% Districrono 100% Ecorail 99.9% Freudcombi 48.93% Rouge Intermodal 98.96% Suffergy 98.96% EFFIA 99.99% Passenger Transport Talis International 70% Eurostar International 55% Lyria 74% Ellipsos International 50% Artesia 50% Sea France 100% sold to Eurotunnel Relis SA 30% Keolis 70% Govia 24.5% IDTGV 100% Wego 100% Nuovo Trasporto Viaggiatori 20% tickets We.SNCF 50.1% the online travel agency of SNCF Rail Europe Inc 50% bought from British Rail GLE Trade Consulting AREP 99.99% SNCF International 100% Inexia Sistra 35
87% engineering for public transport housing ICF habitat novdus 100% rental housing social and private housing topic see also Autorité de régulation des activités ferroviaires Corail train De régime History of rail transport in France List of French companies List of SNCF locomotive and multiple unit classes List of SNCF stations Rattle that lock David Gilmour album Transport Express Regional Transport in France